After using more than 30 note-taking apps over the years, I keep coming back to Apple Notes. For one reason, Apple Notes does one thing, but it does that one thing really well. It captures and organizes information. And you probably already know the basic features like that you can pin important notes, you can format text like change the color or font size, or you can add attachments to your notes, or you can add images. But there's so much more you can do with notes that a lot of people don't know about. So I've titled this video, The Ultimate Guide to Apple Notes because it's the only Apple Notes video you'll ever need to watch. I'll walk you through 32 of the most important Apple Notes features and I'll categorize them into seven categories, starting with the fastest search in any Notes app. Finding information in Apple Notes is, I think, the fastest out of all the more than 30 note-taking apps that I've tested. On your MacBook, press Command plus space and type what you need and your notes appear instantly. For example, I have a Chrome browser open, I press Command plus space and I type in January meeting notes and I press enter and immediately it opens up with my January meeting notes. This search goes beyond basic text matching. It searches through titles, through notes, content, PDFs, and even handwritten notes. For example, again, command plus space, I type in Squad App, which is a company that I've partnered with, and the search feature finds this specific note. The search capability is so robust that traditional folder structures become almost unnecessary. So I just have one main list of notes because the search function is really that reliable. Apple Notes is really the epitome of simplicity. And as I mentioned earlier, I do test a lot of note-taking apps with all these kind of bells and whistles with new shiny features doing this and that. but. I always end up just going back to basics with one very simple list of notes. For power users, the search functionality includes several advanced features most people never discover. For example, typing January and meeting will only bring up the notes with both the words January and meeting, but it will ignore the notes that just has the word meeting or just has the word January. Date-based searches are possible too, so if you type into Apple Spotlight, note date colon today, and it shows all the notes you've written or edited today, but there's an even quicker way to pull up notes in less than half a second, which I'll show you a little bit later on. If you're working with sensitive information, Apple Notes gives you the option to lock these notes using end-to-end -end encryption on iPhones and iPads and on your Macs. So you can lock notes very easily with your device passcode, face ID, touch ID, or custom passwords. You can also exclude specific folders from search. So this is particularly useful for keeping personal and professional notes separate. The security doesn't just stop there though. Any locked notes won't appear in search results unless you specifically authenticate with Face ID or Touch ID. One of the most powerful aspects of Apple Notes search is integration with Siri. So you can simply ask Siri to start a new note and then you just ask Siri to write whatever note you want to write. And this hands-free access becomes invaluable when you're, for example, cooking with messy hands or driving. Quick notes and hot corners. The ability to capture thoughts instantly can be the difference between remembering that brilliant idea that just popped into your head or losing it forever. So Quick Notes solves this problem very elegantly, especially when you know how to set it up properly across all of your devices. On your Mac, the secret weapon is hot corners. So head into system settings, then desktop and dock. Scroll down until you find hot corners. And here's where the magic happens. You can assign quick notes to any corner of your screen. So personally, I use the top left corner. Now, whenever I need to jot something down, I just flick my cursor to that corner and the notes app appears instantly. But it gets better than that. You can make hot corners even more powerful by adding modifier keys. For example, if you hold the command key down while moving your cursor to the hot corner, it will give you a preview window of the note that is going to open if you do click on it. And for iPad users, you can do the same thing. Just make sure you go to settings, you toggle on 
swipe finger from corner and then have one of the corners as quick notes. Then when you swipe the corner, your notes will pop up straight away iPhone users also haven't been forgotten about, so you can add quick notes to your control center by dragging down the top right corner of your screen, holding down on the control panel, then you press add a control, you find notes, and then adding the notes feature to your control center for instant access. It's these little shortcuts that add up to significant time saving throughout the day and throughout the week. Document scanning and OCR. The document scanning feature in Apple Notes is a hidden powerhouse, so most people don't realize they're carrying a professional grade scanner in their pocket. When you open the camera in Notes, you find the scan documents option, but there's much more to it than just simple scanning. So the scanner includes a sophisticated edge detection that automatically straightens and crops your documents. It works in any lighting condition from bright sunlight to dim rooms, and the real magic happens when you're scanning multiple pages. Notes automatically detects each new page, creating a single seamless PDF document. But what sets this scanner apart is its OCR, or optical character recognition capabilities. Every word in your scan document becomes searchable. And this means that you can literally scan a 50 page document and instantly find any word or phrase within it. The OCR works in over 20 languages and even recognizes handwriting. Color handling is particularly impressive. Notes automatically determines whether to save your scan in color, grayscale, or black and white, depending on the content. This intelligent processing ensures your scans are clear and professional while keeping file sizes manageable. The security of these scan documents is paramount, so every scan is encrypted end-to-end -end and stored securely in iCloud. You can lock sensitive scans behind Face ID or Touch ID, ensuring your confidential documents stay private. Smart folders and tags. Smart folders transform how you organize information in Apple Notes, and once you understand their full potential, you'll wonder how you ever managed without them. So think of smart folders as personal assistants that automatically organize your notes based on rules you create. Starting with tags is the foundation of an effective smart folder system. Simply type a hashtag anywhere in your notes, so hashtag meeting notes, hashtag work, hashtag personal, and notes instantly recognizes it as a tag. So with the hashtag meeting notes, I can then just click the hashtag meeting notes in the sidebar and all my notes with this specific hashtag will show up. But the real power comes from how you combine these tags with smart folders. To create a smart folder, tap the folder icon and choose new smart folder. And if you're on a Mac and the folder icon isn't showing, just go to view and click show folders and then all your folders will pop up. And this is where it gets interesting. You can set up rules based on multiple criteria, not just tags, but also dates, types of content, and even whether notes are shared. For instance, I can create a smart folder where the first criteria is that I only want notes in this folder with the hashtag meeting notes. The second criteria is that I only want notes that were created today. And the third criteria is that I only want notes with attachments. And all the notes that I create that fit that criteria will automatically be sent to this very smart folder. Very clever indeed. The beauty of this system is really its flexibility, right? Notes can appear in multiple smart folders simultaneously, matching how our brains naturally organize information. A note about a client project might show up in your active projects folder and your client communication folder and your priority tasks folder all without you having to manually file it anywhere. Time-based smart folders are particularly useful. You can set up a folder for notes modified in the last 24 hours, and you've got an automatic daily review system. Create another for notes you haven't touched in six months, and you've got an easy way to clean up old content. 
While Apple Notes is incredible for personal note taking, when you're working with a team, you may need something more powerful than Apple Notes. And that's where this video sponsor Tanker comes in. So you can think of Tanker as adding a memory layer to your team's communication. They seamlessly transform scattered conversations and data into structured, searchable knowledge that grows smarter over time. Kind of like Apple Notes, but on steroids, AI steroids. So what makes Tanker special is its AI memory system. I mean, Tanker remembers your team's context, past discussions and business goals. Whether you're on desktop or mobile, you get incredibly precise, context-aware responses without having to repeat yourself. The group chat feature is particularly impressive with an AI assistant that actively participates in conversations, helping your team stay productive and aligned. Tanker integrates with your existing tools like Slack, WhatsApp, Gmail. The smart reply feature means Tanker learns your writing style and can draft responses that sound exactly like you. You can even swipe through multiple response options, each perfectly tailored to the conversation's context. Tanker's AI assistant helps you work faster and smarter by leveraging your team's collective knowledge. It's, Tanker is currently offering exclusive early access to viewers on this channel, so just visit tanker.ai. I'll drop a link in the description and you'll be among the first to experience the world's first messenger with AI long-term memory. Now, back to the next Apple Notes feature, which is cross-device syncing and continuity. Apple's ecosystem truly shines when it comes to keeping your notes synchronized across devices. The syncing is nearly instantaneous. For example, if I write in Apple Notes on my laptop, follow up with David, then within seconds, that same text appears on my Notes app on my iPhone. Apple's synchronization across all devices, since I take notes on my MacBook, my iPhone, and my iPad mini, is honestly one of the main reasons I always keep coming back to Apple Notes. But continuity features take this integration to another level, right? So you can start writing a note on your Mac, you can add a sketch from your iPad, and then you can take a photo directly into the notes from your iPhone. This seamless handoff between devices means you're always using the best tool for the current task. The syncing technology is particularly clever in how it handles conflicts, right? So if you somehow end up editing the same note on multiple devices simultaneously, Notes doesn't just pick one version, it preserves all changes and helps you merge them intelligently, meaning you're far less likely to lose work due to sync conflict. I'll show you the feature in action. On my MacBook, I'll write a note, follow up with Hannah. And on my iPhone in the same note, I'll write follow up with Helen. So now Notes has a decision to make. Which one should it keep? Well, it always plays it safe and tends to keep both. So then you can decide which version to keep. One of the most powerful aspects of this integration is how it works with Apple Pencil. You can draw something on your iPad and it's instantly available on all of your devices, complete with pressure sensitivity and tilt information preserved. You can even copy handwritten text and paste it as typed text on any device. The integration expands to widgets and lock screen features. So you can add a notes widget to your home screen by holding down your finger on your home screen and then you tap edit add widgets, type in notes into the search bar, and then you can choose what size of widget you'd like on your home screen. So now on your iPhone, you can start a new note or access recent notes, literally with a single tap. You can do the same thing with your Mac and have Apple Notes on your MacBook desktop. And this is particularly useful if you have your daily task list in your Apple Notes. So your task list is always available as soon as you turn on your laptop. A nice touch is that when you're using Apple Notes, the widget is bright yellow, so it really does pop out. But when you're not using Apple Notes, the widget grays out so it doesn't look so obnoxious on your desktop. Tables and formatting. Tables in Apple Notes strike a perfect balance between power and simplicity. So while they might look kind of basic at first glance, 
the thoughtful design becomes apparent when you actually start using them regularly. So for example, you can tap the table icon and you've got an instant structure for organizing information. Creating tables is just the start though, it's how they adapt to different devices that makes them special, right? So on your iPhone, tables automatically adjust to the screen width, eliminating horizontal scrolling. And on iPad or Mac, they expand to use the available space efficiently. And this responsive design means your notes remain readable regardless of where you view them. Beyond the basic tables, the formatting options in Notes are comprehensive without being overwhelming. You've got headers and subheaders for organizing long notes, bulleted and numbered lists for sequential information, and checklists for task tracking. Each formatting option serves a specific purpose, helping you create clear, structured notes. One particularly useful feature is the ability to indent items in checklists, creating natural subtasks. When it comes to text formatting, Notes includes all the essentials. You've got bold, italic, underline, and strike through, but it's the implementation that stands out. Format painting lets you apply the same style to multiple sections quickly. And if you paste text from another source, Notes intelligently preserves or strips formatting based on context. Link integration and note references. The linking system in Apple Notes transforms it from a simple note-taking tool into actually a very powerful knowledge base. So you can create links between notes, turning a collection of individual notes into an interconnected web of information. For example, I can open up this meeting notes and I want to highlight the words add to task list. I right click, go down to add link. Then I type in the name of the notes. In this case, it's my to-do list. I press okay and now the text is hyperlinked. So when I click it, it sends me to the to-do list notes. Web links in notes get special treatment, drag and drop a URL to your notes. It automatically creates a rich preview showing the web page's title, description, and featured image. And these previews are more than just aesthetic enhancements to an otherwise, let's face it, very text-based, quite boring note. They provide context about the link without requiring you to click through. You can then resize these previews from either small or large, depending on how prominent you want them to be. The linking system extends beyond just notes and web pages though. You can link to emails, calendar events, messages, and other content from Apple apps. This integration turns your notes into a central hub for project related information. So you can click a link and you're taken directly to the relevant content in its native app. And one of my favorite features is how notes integrate so seamlessly between Apple reminders and Apple Calendar. To me, it makes up the perfect kind of minimalist productivity system. And I made a whole video on it very recently. You can click on the card right here to watch that and I will see you right there.